Ruby Grim Eclipse. Defend the school Wi-Fi from attacking werewolves. Yes. Not that it matters anyway. You anyways. can protect the Wi-Fi, but no one has the time to actually use it. Except for the, the creepy colonel or whatever his name. Well, I don't even remember his name, but... Anyways, <coughs> LGO 236, that's the headlining game for this week. And it's an online beat-em-up based off a very popular anime. Uh, uh, Rooster series. Teeth. Yes. Yes, Rooster Teeth. And, wow, like... At first, we kept getting our butts kicked, and I think you just have to be super cheap, and you have to play with other people. Uh, I'm not sure how the camera interacts. I feel the camera's a real pain in the butt. I can sort of see that with the when we're playing on our own. Like suddenly, it, the camera goes into our like stomach, and we're like, "What's going on?" Or like it goes behind the butt cam. And DBZ we played it later was like that too, a bit. Um, I like this. I, I thought like the camera's kind of your enemy, but I think if they made it so the camera was fixated, I think it would have been worse. I like this game too. It's definitely a good uh, beat 'em up. Definitely great if you have friends involved. They just you just have them like band together, fight a bunch of monsters. Yeah, I mean it, it seems a bit repetitive. But I mean a lot of these games can be, but compared to some of the other 2D and 3D games, beat 'em ups. This one I found was. I know it was, it was kind of basic, but at the same time, it kind of it's better than too complicated. Um, <coughs> it does seem weird. Like you said, there were only like two or three enemies that we beat up: the uh, wolves, and then there was those uh, ceratopods. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, I really don't remember the enemies that much. And then the boss, like we we didn't we kept dying so many times that we were like, okay, after 20 minutes, we're gonna stop. But the boss was just a bigger bio. -wolf. Beowulf. Beowulf, sorry. Yeah. Um, and uh, I, I thought the graphics were okay. The, the main characters is kind of weird. To me, I don't know if you saw this too, but like some of the characters look better than the other ones. Like some of them seem like darker, like like they hadn't finished making them. <coughs> and I think I saw that. Like I accidentally saw this in a review because I had no idea like anything about this series. So I felt like okay, I really need to know more. And. Uh, that was one criticism. They also complained about the camera, but it didn't bother me as much as I thought it would. Um, and each character has its own level up scheme, and each character has super moves. But yeah, you have to be cheap, otherwise you're going to die constantly. And there's no easy mode. There, like, it's just normal. normal. Nor, there's just normal, and it feels like hard. <coughs> and you die quickly, like almost all the characters die can take quick. a lot of hits. And yeah. Like, then a lot of them are very strong, but they can't take any hits. So I don't know if it's just the game's not balanced well, or just you get better like eventually, and it's not that bad. But yeah, it seems I think like it's probably the lack that, or it's more encouraged for uh, multiplayer. Yeah, I think that's it. That's what the feeling. I mean, we we tried to do two players with our controllers, and it didn't like the second controller, or I don't know. It was weird. No, we tried uh, doing an online multiplayer, but we realized. It's not the same as I think. There's a lack of local co-op. Yeah, there's no local co-op, which I thought was kind of weird. But I mean, it is what it is. Perhaps there is, and we just didn't find it. I didn't see one, which is kind of disappointing. But I mean, that's how games are. They're not. Uh, yeah, nowadays uh, nobody cares about hot seats or lo local gaming. They regenerate health. If there wasn't regenerating health, this game would be even harder, which is hard to imagine. But once we realized, okay, the game expects you to be cheap, expects you to do pot shots, <coughs> I think I can see that getting tiring. But it's, at first, it's very amusing. Like pew 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 pew. No, it was like the the very last character we tried, Pira. She was like, oh, pew, ow, pew, ow. <laughs> yeah, the wolves. It's funny because if you shoot at one, take pot shots of one wolf, it's like oh oh oh. <coughs> But if I realized my mistake when I took shots, pot shots at the other wolf, because they seem to have really like basic AI, like, oh, you're shooting at me, I'm gonna go after you. So I shot at one, and then I shot the second one, they were both going after me, and I'm like, oops, that was a mistake. Yeah, yeah, but if you keep shooting at one, eventually you'll just fuck over their animation, and thus you'll be able to kill them faster. Yeah, well, yeah, that's, that's I think, what you're supposed to do, take one at a time. Like, when there's like six to eight of them, then unfortunately, yeah, um, you can't uh, take on that many. Like we, that's when we died the quickest. I've noticed. Like 
you, you have to be cheap. And like most brawlers are like that, 2D classic brawlers are like that. You, you can't take on everyone. You sort of take on like one or two and then dodge, dodge, dodge. But this game in particular, because your characters are so weak it seems, um, at the beginning you have to be super cheap. So, yeah. What would you give it? I think graphics, it's not amazing graphics, but I think the fact that you can all play online and it's a beat em up is really cool in this day and age where it's sort of hard to find a good beat em up as we've learned by doing these videos. I kind of feel like this deserves an 8 out of 10. It, yeah. it, it, is, a, it is a good attempt at a Rooster Teeth. It's got its it. flaws, but this is. Yeah, sorry. It's a good attempt by Rooster Teeth to make a game based off one of their major franchises. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. I mean, this is definitely a good attempt. I don't, I don't know if this cost me ten dollars or what, but I feel like it was worth it. Like, I feel like I want to continue playing. Like, I wouldn't. It's oddly addictive for me. I'm not sure why, because it's so basic and it's, you know, there's not really like you can level up and change your moves. But I found it oddly addictive. I don't know why. Yeah. I beat them up some like this, but it it's a really there's about eight characters and there's three costumes worth of DLC. Well, two costumes worth of DLC. Yeah, the number of characters really is what makes it interesting. Like if it was just two or three, like a lot of classic beat em ups, I think I would be as interested. But I think the fact that there's eight and they all have different weapons and slightly different supers. Yeah. And the funny thing is with with the whole uh, fact of Ruby, there could be room for more uh, additional characters because yeah. they'll all come in fours. Yeah, and I think this is only off of season one, and I think there's multiple seasons, I'm not sure. Yeah, this is uh, taking place in between seasons two and three. Oh, is it two and three? Okay. Yeah. But, but like, everything <coughs> after season three, they definitely need to get a work on. Yeah. Because new characters, new outfits, new weapons, new anything. New boobs, new... <laughs> Makeup, I get in trouble saying that, but yeah, <clears throat> I, I'm trusting, more accessories. We've been in trouble long ago, man. Yeah, we're too loud, apparently. <coughs> Ottawa's not used to this much loudness. That's one thing I've noticed lately. They're like, We're not used to these loud, non conservative people, these non conservative Canadians. They're so loud and offensive. They must be Americans. Fuck yeah. <coughs> Alright, I think I'm done. Are you yeah. done? Alright, we're loud and offensive. Yeah, Dragon Ball is super! Keep Bye, on guys. Gaming. Keep on gaming. Thank you.